Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a pop of color party makeup tutorial. Color doesn't have to be scary. You can wear it in a very simple and easy way without actually feeling like your face is too full on and too colorful. Today we're gonna to be using a pop of blue. So I'm starting off with a full coverage foundation. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade four, I think. And I'm just spreading that all around my face with a dense buffing brush. This is the best way to apply it, I think. And this will just give me a really even canvas and a full coverage foundation. When you're wearing color, sometimes it is good to have a really flawless base so things don't look muddy. Now I'm going in with the Clinique All About Eyes Concealer in the shade Light, and I'm using this to conceal under my eyes and to highlight my face as well. I'm then gonna set under my eyes using two different MAC powders. I mixed the Mineralize Skin Finish in Light with the Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC25, just because they were both the wrong shade. And now just setting the perimeter of my face with the Studio Fix Powder on its own in the shade NC25. Today I'm going to be creating the eye look using some cream shadows from one of my favorite niche brands, Gilded Cage. These are the Gilded Cage Revelation eyeshadows. They're an amazing cream eyeshadow formula that blends unbelievably with the fingers and a brush and they're so long wearing. You can build them up from a sheer color to a super full color and I just love them. I'm starting with the shade Taupe Rose as a transition color. And as you can see, for a cream, this blends out incredibly well. It's just gorgeous and this is going to be my transition shade. And now the star of the show is going to be the Gilded Cage Revelation Eyeshadow in the shade Periwinkle Blue. I love this kind of cobalt bright blue. And what I love most about this shadow is that I can start with a very fine layer across the lid. And as you can see here, I'm just building up until I reach my desired intensity of blue. You can go for a very light wash or you can build it up to be super strong like I have. I started off with a fluffy blending brush just to kind of gauge where I wanted the color and then as you can see I'm using a flat brush to pat in the color where I want it most intense. I'm now gonna tight line using a black pencil and I'm also going to use that along my top lashes. This is a technique I use all the time because I think it suits my face best. I'll just line along my lashes and kind of flick out very softly at the end and then blend it in with a brush. And then when I want more precision, I go in with a very fine liner brush, dip that on the top of the pencil and just wing out the flick even more. I also went back in with the blue eyeshadow over the flick, so that just diffuses out the wing and blends it into the blue. Now I'm going in with a coat of mascara, and then I'm going to be adding some eyeliner to my waterline. I'm going to use this cobalt blue liner on the inner half of my waterline, and then I'm going to use the black one that I used to tight line on the outer half. And then I'm just going to go in with a small little pencil brush, just to make sure that that color is smudged right into the base of my lashes. Back onto the face for a minute, I'm going to use the Tarte Park Ave Prince bronzer just on the backs of my cheeks and on my forehead, nothing too crazy. And I'm also going to contour under the cheekbones just to give a bit of definition in the cheeks. Now I'm going in with the Gilded Cage Revelation eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold. I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes with this and also my cheekbones. These eyeshadows are so long wearing that it actually makes for an amazing highlight. This highlight will not lose its intensity during the day. On top of that, I'm adding just a little bit of Becca's Champagne Pop just to kind of set the highlight in place and make it extra popping for the nighttime. This is a party makeup look, so you can kind of go intense with the highlight. For lips, I'm starting with a Gilded Cage Unleashed Lipstick. This is my favorite shade. It's the shade 105 Nude. Absolutely love this, they're super hydrating. And then to top that off and to add some shine and drama, I'm going to use the Gilded Cage Charisma Lip Gloss in the shade Aurora. This is a really nice clear gloss with an iridescent shimmer through it that isn't tacky. It's a really nice, sophisticated shimmer. Lastly, I'm just popping on some three quarter length lashes from Ardell to finish off the look without being too dramatic and that's the finished look thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you again real soon bye